Hello everyone. I have another tutorial for you on net mode. This tutorial is organized into several chapters. First, I will show you how to download and install net mode on your computer. Next, I will teach you how to import SSH configurations into net mode. And finally, I will teach you how to share your net mode connection over a hotspot. So, feel free to use the timestamps to navigate between chapters. Without further ado, let us jump right into the tutorial. To download the netmode setup, open your computer browser and download the netmode setup from a sourceforge.net. Since netmode does not have an official website, I highly recommend everyone download the computer version from this source. I will leave the website link in the video description. Once you arrive on the website, go ahead and click the download button and wait for 5 seconds for the download to begin. Remember, the net mode setup you are downloading is an x86 architecture support, but it can also be installed on an x64 based processor computer. Once the download is complete, double click the setup file to start the installation process. A security warning may appear asking if you want to allow the program to make changes to your device. Click Yes to continue. When the installation window opens, click Next then install to begin installing net mode on your computer. After the installation is finished, you can choose to uncheck the option to launch net mode, but I prefer to keep it checked and click finish to start net mode immediately. The net mode is freshly installed and ready for use, but it currently lacks a configuration file. Without the configuration file, you won't be able to connect to the net mode. Therefore, you need to import a netmode configuration file into the netmode. To do this, I will quickly connect my phone to my computer and copy the netmode SSH configuration file to my desktop. The configuration file is essential for establishing an internet connection through the netmode application. So, before you import an SSH configuration file into the netmode, you must first toggle the SSH mode to switch. Otherwise, if you try to import the file into the net mode, it won't import. So once SSH mode is activated, all I need to do is double click the configuration file and it will automatically import into the net mode. Alternatively, you can import the configuration file by clicking the folder icon at the top. This will open a window where you can find and select the specific configuration file you wish to import. In my case, the configuration file is located on my desktop as you can see here. So, I will go ahead and select the file and click open to import the configuration. Now, go ahead and click the play button and wait for a couple of seconds. Once the timer begins to count, it indicates that the net mode has connected successfully. Finally, if I open my web browser and search for my location, you will see that my location has changed from my actual location to Virginia because the configuration I imported is set to use a server located in the USA. To share the net mode connection over a Wi-Fi hotspot so that other devices can get access to the internet, here's what you need to do. So to begin, open the control panel on your computer. In the control panel, select Network and Internet, followed by Network and Sharing Center. Next. Click on Change Adapter Settings to open up the Network Connections window. Here, you will see different types of network connections that you can view and manage, but the reason behind this is to know the type of network you are using and the one you must share. So here you can see, I have two network connections active. The Ethernet 5 is my primary internet source, while Ethernet 4, which uses the TAP Windows Adapter V9, is the connection from the net mode. It's very important to accurately identify these network connections before proceeding to share the net mode internet connection, as you will need this information when setting up your hotspot. Let's return to the net mode. In the net mode, move the mouse pointer to the side menu and scroll to the bottom until you see the gear icon. Click on it to access the net mode settings. In the right pane, Select Tethering Manager to open the Tethering dialog box. Here, 
You will notice that the SSID and password are automatically generated by the computer. You can keep these as they are if you prefer, but I'll be changing the SSID, which is the name of the hotspot, as well as the password. Once you have done renaming the SSID and the password, go ahead and click on the Share Network option. Here, you will need to select the type of network connection you want to share. This is the reason I checked the network connections earlier in the control panel. So I will go ahead and select Ethernet 4 from the drop list, which is the network connection of the net mode. Next, check the Enable Proxy Share over same network box. Enabling this will help you to proxy the hotspot on other devices to access the internet connection. Finally, go ahead and click Enable to activate the hotspot. You can now search for the Wi-Fi hotspot on any device. So, once you connect to the hotspot on another device, you must configure the hotspot with the proxy address given by the net mode here before you can access the internet connection. I generally recommend using the HTTPS proxy address when setting up the proxy on the hotspot. If you'd like to learn how to proxy any Wi-Fi hotspot, please click the link in the video description to watch the tutorial I created on that topic. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that it made the process easier for you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Also, be sure to click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we upload new content. Stay connected, and we can't wait to see you next time.